Hello, everyone. This is Elena here. And I will be playing Pokemon Platinum. This isn't my first time playing this game. Well, it's my first time lot not live streaming. This is my first time recording this. This is more like a let's play and not a walkthrough. Just hope to God that the cartridge does not break on me. Because it has a habit of glitching out sometimes. I am a very old fine sir. But all serious though. Seriousness though. I'm just excited to play this game for once. Yes! Even though that's not my real name. Hang on a minute, guys. I might have to do a little cut. And I'm back. Let's continue on the game, shall we? Time to turn off the TV. Huh? Boy! Um... Wait, I, uh... Hey, don't touch that! Maybe your husband. Again, I don't have a million bucks. Ugh.
Just in case. I'm here. Wait a minute, we can't go in there! We don't have Pokemon yet! Um, yes, it does matter if we don't have Pokemon or not. Though this is a bad idea, Rory, don't do it! Roy, no, no, huh? What was that? <gasps> Professor Rowan, crap. If only the character had a voice. the tall grass. What you mean? I'm reckless. I tried to talk him out of it, but he didn't listen to me the first time. Notifications. Uh. Oh, Lucas, one of our useless rivals. Yay! Honestly, he doesn't really do much. He just gives you items or whatever, but he doesn't really battle you or anything. And if you were a male, you'd have gotten Dawn, and she kind of does the same thing. And I guess if you were the male character, here you would probably pick the one that's strong against her if you ended up getting like. You get to flop. And I guess if you're a girl and you want to pick pick flop or turret twig or chimchar. Like it'll depend on who you pick. But what I'm going to pick in this little batch of starters. Sorry that I'm not like every other YouTuber that has like the little screen of showing like how many Pokemon they're caching or like who's on their permanent team or whatever. But I don't know how to do that. So I'm I'm stuck with zero options. Now for the Pokemon I'm gonna pick and he's gonna be in my main team. Those people are gonna put me on Blast for this. 
probably, maybe, I don't know. Let's see. We have Turtwig, Chicha, Pippa. Yeah. I pick Pippa. No, it's not because I like because of Dawn or whatever. I feel like that's the excuse. I wouldn't think girls or other people pick Pippa because of Dawn. That's not really 100% true. The only reason why I picked Napoleon for the first time, like, of, like, when I played through Diamond and Pearl, is because, funny thing is, Infinite was considered the best starter for this gen, or, like, for this gen, but the second best starter for fourth gen is Empoleon, even though most people don't want to admit it, it's Empoleon. But some people said that Empoleon is the second best starter, which I'm okay with that. As long as you don't roast my precious child fully. I know me and a few other YouTubers wrote at me I I with this decision, but I'm like, screw you, I'll do whatever I want. And he's gonna pick Turtwig, which has tackle and withdraw. Which unfortunately Torterra is not really the best starter for this <laughs> plan, because I mean, sure, it's good when it comes to work and his father's gym, but when it comes to the rest of the gym leaders and the Elite Four, um, nah. But then again, I'm not even sure. Do a good matchup, but who knows? I'm so going to kick his butt. If I lose, that's just gonna make everyone think I can do it. I knew Piplock sucked. I wonder what happened if I said no, I don't want to battle you right now. I mean, I could do that. Then he's just gonna battle me anyway. Too bad you don't know the year Pip Love. I would be so happy. Because then the defense would have dropped a lot. But he's just gonna continue using withdraw until like his defense gets higher and higher. See? If only I could just speed this up, but I can't. I wish this was an emulator. Because then I'd be speeding up this whole entire process. Me just using pound. Until he gets to... Yellow. Because I know withdraws just... <sighs> I hate this. Technically, I'm shocked that Pip Bluff doesn't have withdrawal. But then again, it's not a turtle, so. It's a penguin. I don't think penguins could even do that. Starters. As long as it doesn't get a critical hit, I'm good. What happened to giving us potions when we go to our PC? What happened to that? 
made things so much easier. I'm just gonna s keep spamming. A until my A button breaks. And if it breaks, I will cry, but... Come on, Pippa, don't die on me, please! I beg of you! Come on... At least I have a few heck seconds to start. Yes! Yes! Okay. It's on this last life, oh my gosh. And it grew to level 6! Now, if I were not to pick Pip-Bluff and I would choose any of the other two starters... Uh, I guess I'd get a Feebass. But everyone's probably gonna look at me like, What? A Feebass is harder to get in this generation! No. Third gen. Third gen was harder. At least with Feebass in this generation, it's easier to get, even though it has like a certain percent chance rate to get it. But, I would still get a Milo Tick, because Milo Tick is awesome. I hate it that we have to trade. <laughs> like, after like, Gen 5, because I didn't want to trade, like, my shiny Feebass to a person I do not know and trust. And I didn't have another DS to even trade back and forth with. So, uh, it kind of hurt me a bit that my Tech has to be, like, traded nowadays. At least with Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can catch it as a Milotic and you don't have to evolve it that they're trading. That's the one thing I'm happy about. Let's see, who should I get? Well, I know one of my team members is gonna be like a further... Like, further in the game. Like... Then I'm not gonna tell you who I'm gonna get. Just know that's in the fur like, the furthest part of the game. Like, around the third or fourth gym leader. Well, the other two Pokemon I'm gonna get are close by. Like, I already have my theme set out for me. And most people are gonna be like, Ah, but it's so unbalanced! I'm gonna be like, so? I don't care. I mean, I wish I could do Cynthia's team, but it'd just be like, I would have to replace my starter Pokemon with the Garchomp and then get the Tug Kiss. That means I need two shiny stones, and I don't know where to get two shiny stones from unless if I do the mine. But that's gonna take a while in grinding. I probably would have to wait. Honestly, I don't want to do that. But it's okay. It's fine. I'm fine. And this is the... Well, I shouldn't really spoil this. For, for the people who already know, you could spoil it in the comment section. That way I don't get yelled at. But for the people who never played Pokemon Diamond Pearl Platinum, this will be like... It's a surprise. And mostly... Pokemon 
Platinum is like more of the completed version of Diamond and Pearl. Because there's more stuff, actually. Platinum than there is, um... Diamond and Pearl. At least you could get both legendaries in this game. Like, both of the uh, main legendaries. That guy over there gives you a potion. You guys didn't know that. Hey, Lucas. Ow. You guys are probably wondering why I'm not reading the dialogue. The thing is, y'all are old enough to read. You could read this. I'm not gonna read. And most of this is just basically like the beginning of the chapter. As long as I'm not being like, like I'm better reading aloud. I can read in my head. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. <laughs> you, do you want a Pokedex? Yes, I want a freaking Pokedex. Even though leveling, <laughs> updating the Pokedex is going to be hard in my behind because I have no one to trade with. Again, I only have one DS because the other DS broke. Actually, no. I had three game like Game Boy systems. Like at the super rare red one. I want like I had the super rare green one that came with the cooking stuff. That my aunt gave me, but that broke in half. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what happened to my DS. Then my red one broke because the charging port broke. So now I'm just stuck with my purple one. I mean, I will get a Nintendo Switch. Just the console version. I'm not getting, like, the... I take it with me and then hook it up to my... TV or computer, cause... Well, I don't want it breaking. Let's just put it that way. I have really destructive siblings. And but then you ask, But aren't you 18? Wouldn't you move out, like, years from now? I'm like, I would. But... New York? Living expenses? They aren't cheap. I wish they were, but they're not. Even to buy a house is a lot. I'm sure I have friends. I could make roommate with one of them, or like we like all girls just do like a whole roommate thing. But 
I don't know if everyone would be down for that, because some of them want to move out of state. Like me. Like, I was either thinking upstate in New York, or moving out of New York entirely move to another state. Like, Jersey, no, Jersey isn't that easy better. Um, maybe Pennsylvania. I mean, it could just take that small little bridge, so then everyone's gonna be like, But, it's only just wood! Just a forest with bears! Well, I don't mind that, actually. I'm actually crazy enough to live in the country by myself, alone. And then he's just gonna guide us through... I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm just... I'm just gonna play this game. <laughs> Maybe after this I'll play another game. Don't know which game. Probably might be Minecraft. I'm obsessed with Minecraft. How long have I been recording for? Uh, 24 minutes! Okay, I need to end this quick. This is what happens when you talk too much. I better speed this up quickly. Just skipping through, because I know you guys are like, uh, when is the movie gonna be. <laughs> movie. Video going to be finished. No, if I was doing a live stream, that would be totally different. But my room is not prepared to do a live stream. I'm also living with my parents, so they'll probably just burst in through my door. Just be like, I need you to do something. <laughs> So I'm just gonna speed this along quick before I even get those yells and I will be Okay, where that is I don't I see all like this part of glitching stuff. I never noticed that before in the original games. Is that is that normal? Probably not normal. I wonder what happens if I run into a shiny shake or something like that. I'd I'd cry. Honestly. And I'm like, oh shiny Pokemon! Oh my first let's play! It only happened to me once. Like once or twice. Actually, no. It happened to me three times or four. My actual first shiny Pokemon was actually a Diglett. Funny enough. Because I was like 12 or 11, and I was like, what is this? Shiny. Like, I never even heard like a shiny Pokemon. And so, like, it sparkled, and I was like, Blue Nose Diglett? Well, I need to catch it in the Pokedex anyway, so I'm just gonna keep it. And I never questioned it until, like, I was 16. 
I found out what Jetty Pokemon was. And I was like, oh, that's what a shiny is. That was either 14, 15, or 16, where I was like, I'm now determined to get a shiny Pokemon. I'll stop the episode when like Lucas does like the teaching you how to catch Pokemon, even though I don't want to prolong this anymore. This probably would add up to like 30 minutes, but I know you guys probably either want it to be sped up or you guys don't want it to be sped up. Probably the latter. I'll probably speed this up later. During the beautiful process of the editing. Again, notifications on the phone. Shut up. Shut up. I guess my next playthrough will be Delta Ruin. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, huh? But then it, you guys are gonna be like, Wait, this people already did it before. Well, I have way too much time on my hands. Then I'm gonna club or stop this episode. Right around here. I'll probably cry if I find a shiny. But anyway, see you guys next time!